Okay, Nicole Moore is at the forefront of celebrity love coaching and is the founder of the Love Works Method. So, do celebs have the same love worries as all of us? Nicole joins us now for more. Nicole, great to see you. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. And uh, now, tell us, uh, tell us about your experience with celebs and and their quest to find love. Do they really have the same worries as all of us? Well, you know, they do have the same worries as all of us. You'd be surprised to hear behind the scenes of how many celebrities feel insecure in their love lives or like they're not going to find the right partner or they're worried about being posted all over paparazzi and their partner doesn't want to be in the picture. So I'd say celebrities have the same problems as everyone else, but the dials just turned up by a lot. It's a lot more dramatic, if you will. Oh, paparazzi, wouldn't that be a good problem to have to have? <laughs> uh, where would you say people are going wrong with love at the moment in general? You know, I think that people just, a lot of people have a negative opinion of love or they think it's not going to work out for me or they're looking at all social media or movies and they're thinking love doesn't work out. And I really, what I love helping people understand is that love can work out for you. I work with so many people who've had abusive relationships or just a lot of drama or some people who have never had love at all, believe it or not, or they've never been asked out, they've never been in a relationship. And there's this tendency to think how it always happens has been is how it always will be. But the beautiful thing about love is you can go on one date and your entire life can change. So I love for people to keep an optimistic heart about their love life, even if their past tells them that they should, you know, be afraid and hide under the covers. Oh, that's great advice. Um, now, is social media a good thing or a bad thing for love, do you think? I think social media can be a really good thing for love. Listen, at the end of the day, social media is connecting us with way more people than ever before. We don't have to sit in like a barn in the 1800s waiting for our cousin to propose marriage to us. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. We have so many options these days. So that's the beauty of social media. I met my husband on a dating app, by the way. I met him on Tinder. So, you know, social using social to find love is really, really, really great if you look at it that way. Now, there are negatives, right? You compare on social media. Everybody else's love life looks more amazing than yours on social media, right? So it can amplify feelings of loneliness. If you're sitting at home and you're by yourself and you're scrolling and it looks like everyone else is just you know traveling with their partner or whatever it can amplify feelings of loneliness so you have to use it for the good which is to connect with more people than you ever could in any other way and you have to shut out that comparison mind because most people don't have a better love life than you it just looks like that on social media well that's what social media is isn't it everyone just puts up their up their uh their best show reel essentially um let's speak about online dating how do you actually sift through who are the good ones who are the bad ones who's right for you who isn't because ultimately you're determining that from uh, a photo essentially yeah well you know we do have intuition we all have intuition <laughs> so i like to say let that be your guide listen when you're online it's very easy to say this person wrote this in their profile i think that means that they're going to be my partner or this person has a picture of beer in their profile but i don't like to drink so like maybe i should just say no to them it's very easy to get your mind involved and that's the people who have the hardest time with online dating the thinkers, <laughs> the overanalyzers, right? That's when online dating sucks, when you're just so in your head. But you know what? It's very easy. Think of it this way. If I saw this person and they came up to me at a bar, would I be happy if they asked me out or would I say, ew, go away? <laughs> it's very easy. Just go with your gut. My husband, I, you know, half his pictures, believe it or not, were either turned to the side. I was like, is this guy cross-eyed? Like, what's going on? He had sunglasses <laughs> on. He was turned to the side. But he had one thing in his profile that he, I liked. It said, keeping it zen at the top of his profile. I'm a spiritual person. I said, okay, let me give him a chance. So all you need is that, hmm, let me give him a chance. If they ask me out for coffee in the real world, I'd say yes. The ones who are not it, just swipe, they're irrelevant. You don't have to have a lot of emotional drama around it. And that's why people don't like online dating because they see what they don't want and they think, oh my God, this is all there is. It's not, it's just not what you want. Nicole, great to chat with you. Such an important conversation and one that everyone cares about. Uh, thanks so much. Take care. Thank you.